Hello techies. Power automation is a great automation tool that can automate the job which can save a lot of time and avoid repetitive activities. Before learning about Power Automate pricing model, the good news is Power Automate for desktop is now built in with Windows 11 and it is for free. If you are not using Windows 11, then you can download Power Automate desktop for free from flow.microsoft.com slash desktop. There you can see we are having Power Automate for desktop where you can easily automate from your Windows desktop. Now available for Windows 11 users at no additional cost. There you can go ahead and you can download Power Automate desktop from here. All right, but lots of clients are asking if Power Automate desktop is free, then why we need to buy Power Automate license? Here is the point. Power Automate desktop is totally free for Windows 10 and Windows 11 users, which is an enterprise level tool for creating automated desktop centric flows, which is called attended robotic process automation. But all the features are not available or not possible with Power Automate desktop, such as scheduling, storing the desktop flows in Microsoft Dataverse, sharing the flows across the team or organization, AI builders, and pre-connectors. These features are not available in Power Automate desktop. To do these things, we required Power Automate license. Now, once again, let me redirect to flow.microsoft.com and then click on my flows over here on the left hand side menu bar. And there you can see on the right hand side, I'm having install. Let's open up the drop down menu over here. You can see Power Automate desktop here from here. Also, you can download the free version of Power Automate desktop to automate the desktop flows. All right. Now, until now, we have seen how to download the Power Automate desktop for free, and then we can go ahead and we can install the things to create the desktop flows. As we got the question that Power Automate desktop is free, then why we need to buy Power Automate license? As I have shown you, we need the scheduling over here, right, to schedule our desktop flows or to store the flows in the Microsoft Dataverse or to share the flows across the team, these features are not available in the Power Automate desktop. To get all these things, we need to use the license called Power Automate license by using different accounts, which I have explained in the earlier video, right? Now we'll see what are the licensing that we have in the Power Automate, or we can see the pricing list in the Power Automate. For that, we need to go for the powerautomate.microsoft.com slash pricing is the URL where you can get the list of the prices for the Power Automate license. The basic plan of Power Automate license price starts from $15 per user per month. Why this is per user or per flow required? The customers are ranging from small businesses to Fortune 500 companies are using Microsoft Power Automate for different purposes. First of all, I will tell you the free licensing. How can we get the free license? As part of Office 365, with Microsoft Flow for Office 365, we'll get free license, which allows for limited number of flows to be run per month. This free license have the least amount of capabilities, which excludes access to the premium connectors. There you can see I have already created an account with Office 365. There you can see I'm having all kind of access for that one, excluding the premium connectors. Where we can get the connectors? Here, if you go for the connectors, there you will find standard connectors and premium connectors. As of now, I have used Office 365 so that I will have the access only for the standard connectors. If you want the access for the premium connectors, in that case, you need to use organization premium accounts. All right. Now, in the same way, if you see the AI builders, we are having access for the AI builders also. There you can build the AI builders, models, you can get the access. And also for the document automation also, you will get the access by using Office 365. Now, Microsoft Power Automate can be licensed on 
per user or per flow basis. If you see over here, I'm having license by user as well as license by flow. The basic plan of Power Automate license price starts from $15 per user per month. This is the basic plan where we have. You can see over here, it will allow all the individual users to analyze their process and create unlimited cloud flows based on their unique needs which is suited for the small teams and businesses with a limited requirement in businesses with this basic plan users can create unlimited flows and use other features of the software all right now if you go for the 40 dollars plan the users can automate legacy applications with the rpa that is robotic process automation and AI. You can get one active license and attended robotic bot and 5,000 AI builder service credits per month by using this $40 per user per month. There you can see over here, I'm having AI builders also, which includes 5,000 AI builder service credits per month. To get this, we need to buy this license by user. All right. Now, if you see, I'm having another version over here or another pricing model over here, which is licensing per flow plan. This plan is suited for large corporations with a large number of users using automated flows. The pricing for this plan starts from $500 for five flows per month. This is used for the organization. In this plan, you can implement the flows with the reserved capacity for unlimited users across the organization. If you want to create more flows apart from these five flows, then you have to add add on for $100 over here. You can see over here, there you can see I'm having additional flows maybe purchased for $100 per flow per month. All right. Now we understand the license by user and license by flow. Now, if I want additional add-ons in that case, you will see over here, explore Power Automate add-ons, AI builder that you are having $500 per unit, which is infuse AI into your process, require the access for Microsoft 365 admin central with the global administrator or billing administrator roles. To add AI builder to an existing Power Automate or Power Apps, you need this kind of add-ons over here in your account. All right. In that case that you are going to use AI builder. Now, the Power Automate desktop is totally free. In that case, I need to schedule the flows or trigger the flows. In that case, how can we go ahead and do that? There's an add-on called unattended RPA add-on. There you can see automate backend process through robotic process RPA without requiring intervention for a person. In that case, you are going to use $150 per bot per month plan. You are going to use it as an add-on so that you can include 5,000 5, AI builder service credits it requires the access for the Microsoft 365 admin center. And also you can apply unattended RPA add-on to the per user plan with attended RPA or per flow plan. These are all the plans which we have in the Power Automate license. All right. Now I will explore you few things about the Power Automate plans over here. If you see over here per user plan that is $15 per use per month, you can get it process mining. There you can get it visualize and analyze processes with the process advisor. Whereas $40 also you can get it. Whereas the desktop and cloud automation, there you can see run cloud flows with the automated schedule instance, run business process flows, run attended RPA desktop flows. There you can get all these things over here. You need to have per user plan with, over here. There you can get it over here. Whereas run attended RPA desktop flows that you are having again, the dollars per bot, it is going to be defining over here in the both the cases per use plan with attended RPA per flow plan, which is starting from $500. All right. Now, if you see to infuse AI with the AI builder, you are having 5,000 credits over here in the per use plan, which is the $40 plan. Whereas per flow, it will be depends on the uses over here. Now, if you see the data connectivity over here, storage and management to connect to the data, there the user use pre-built connectors, use custom on-premise connectors out there. 
and the storage you can see over here it will be create an access on the custom entities and you can use the data overs over here the size of the storage you can see over here for the $15 plan you are having 250 MB database capacity with the 2 GB file capacity that you have with the Microsoft data overs whereas $40 that is per use plan there you can get 250 MB database capacity and the same as 2 GB file capacity also you will get it for the both the things. And also the same thing for the per flow plan also. There you will get the same kind of capacity for all these things. All right. Now, if you see right now, I have defined, I have given the pricing in dollars format, right? If you don't understand the pricing in dollars, the reason is that we are having different currencies across the globe right now we don't sometimes we don't understand the dollars in such a case as if i want to know the pricing list in indian currency right in that case what i'm going to do over here you can see the end of the page there you are having the conversion over here if you go for english right now i am in english us now i want to convert that in indian currency there you can see english india when i'm going to select this option the entire page will convert into the pricing list. There you can see I will get it in Indian currency for license by user as well as license per flow over here. All right. Now in the same way, if I want to some other currencies which are related to your currency, then let us assume if I'm going for Malaysia, then I'm going to select English Malaysia. Then the pricing will come based on that location. I will get all the pricing list over there. All right. I hope you understand the Power Automate pricing as part of this tutorial. Thank you for watching Power Automate tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a wonderful day.